The nationwide cold change is on the way for New Zealand. Kia ora, hello, I'm Philip Duncan. Thanks for joining us for our Monday update for June the 26th. A lot of low pressure on the map at the moment, and we're going to be seeing plenty more of it forming down here in the Southern Ocean over the next few days with a storm forming, and it's likely to dominate New Zealand's weather going into the weekend. Now, just because it's a winter blast does not mean that the areas that have just had a lot of rain will get more. In fact, the westerly change could be a little kinder to you, but it will see the temperatures dropping. We will see snow on the mountains and ranges, but it may not be falling to low levels everywhere because of the uh, wind directions. And then over in Australia, high pressure dominates an even bigger high about to roll in. And we're going to get some convergence right in the middle around Alice Springs where winds meet and it creates for some very heavy rain especially for that part of the world. So let's take a look at the incoming rainfall for the next three days for New Zealand. It looks more like a temperature map with the yellows and golds, but it shows you that we're in that five to 20 millimeter mark for the most part. Slightly higher rainfall totals on the western coastline where you're getting uh, those heavier showers, maybe some thunderstorms in the mix as well. That goes all the way down uh, towards about Hokitika. And over in the East Mahia Peninsula, still seeing just a few showers with that northeasterly flow today, but that is also clearing away now, hopefully drying out for you. Over in Australia, look at this, convergence zone is quite uh, obvious. So in this zone here, right next to Alice Springs, you're getting up to about 100 millimeters of rain. Keep in mind their annual rainfall only around about 270, 280 millimetres. So that is a lot of rain falling in a short time. But for the main centres, not very much at all on the way, uh, just a few showers coming through. So let's take a look at the forecast. Here we are on Tuesday. You can see that zone here between two highs. So uh, that's the reason why you're getting that rain kind of squashed in the middle. Over in New Zealand, low pressure still with us. The good news is for eastern areas, much drier by the looks of it, but it pushes some rain down uh, into Marlborough and uh, maybe into Canterbury as well. It's a bit messy, bit of a fine line actually between the rain and the dry weather, so you'll need to keep up to date with the Met Service rain radar. By Wednesday, getting messier now. We've got uh, a little bit of high pressure way out over here. That's a, driving in a bit of a southerly flow for the eastern side of Australia. New Zealand, on the other hand, with this big low pressure zone, it's a slightly different uh, southerly flow. It is a southerly, but it's a localized one. It's just going around in a circle. So it'll be a bit more easterly for the eastern South Island. That's why you've got some rain and showers in there. Although the temperatures this week are above normal for most regions or around normal. By Thursday, the low out to the east is quite deep, down to the 970 hectopascal range out there over the Chatham Islands. That encourages a windier, southwesterly flow over New Zealand. And that blue line that comes up around the southeastern corner of Australia measures air thickness. Basically, it's showing the southerly taking a big bite out of the atmosphere as it comes in northwards. So this is where the energy is forming and deepening. And so as we head in towards the end of the week, you'll see more low pressure forming down here. And coupled with that high over Australia, that's going to push the winds together, make the isobars get squashed up. So that's why it is windier with gale force winds all the way from Melbourne to Tasmania over to Auckland and uh, other parts of New Zealand being all caught up in this large area of low pressure, 960 hectopascals and one, two, three or four low pressure zones. And then we go in towards Saturday and not that you needed it, but we drew a circle <laughs> to kind of show you where the low pressure is. It's about two to three times the size of Australia which is significant. Now, it's got a couple of centers to it, or at least a couple of bigger centers to it. That will sort of make it a bit lopsided. The good news for these eastern areas, the rain is uh, coming in as a westerly or a nor'wester. For places like Napier and Hastings and Gisborne, that's usually not very much in the way of rain. So as we go towards the end of next week, it'll dry out a lot for those eastern areas, but the rain comes into the west, the snow along the South Island mountains and ranges. But again, that Westerly direction means eastern areas look mostly dry. And we also expect some snow around Central Plateau. So it's going to be a wintry week, uh, sorry, wintry start to the weekend, a warmer than average start to this week though. So it's still a very unsettled pattern, but it's um, time for winter to wake up. It's been sort of sleeping a little bit down in our part of the world. That's all from me. We'll see you again on Tuesday with our next update.